I'm taking a scientific approach to uh, looking ahead to tonight's game by starting here at the Museum of Science and Industry. What are the connections then between Manchester City and Liverpool, or indeed Manchester and Liverpool? You could say Robbie Fowler or Steve McManaman, but actually in history, that engine behind me, which is the rocket at the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester, the original rocket, Robert Stevenson's uh, rocket, was the winner of the Rainhill Trials and drove from the station, which is inside this museum, to Liverpool. So from Manchester to Liverpool, one of the very first steam locomotives and one of the real connections, as well as the Manchester Ship Canal, of course, between Manchester and Liverpool. So there's certainly plenty of connections between Manchester and Liverpool. The M62, the East Lanks, but when it comes to football, there's also an intense rivalry and no bigger rivalry than the game tonight between City, who start the game seven points behind Liverpool and the league leaders. How big is this game? What are people thinking? Let's find out. I think being a typical Sippy fan, you're always nervous, but I am confident. I think we can probably pull off a result today. It's one of those special nights, so I'm expecting three points is the most important thing. I think that's what we need to stay behind them, otherwise a defeat could be really catastrophic for us. So, But I'm confident that we will pull off a victory today. Be honest with me, are I you am. normally quiet at games? Um, no, I'm, I'm quite vocal, are but you? I'll probably be more vocal today. I was going to no, ask I would you, be, yeah, I'll probably is this be more vocal. crank it up? That's right, yes, yeah. I think this is going to be one of those special nights where the atmosphere will be electric and it's what you'd expect. Because I think the company in, during the week was saying as well, you know, we've got to be that 12th man today. I think we've got to support the players and make the noise, which sometimes is lacking, I think, our home games. But it's going to be a special night today. A little bit nervous, but uh, a nervous, <laughs> I've got to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Do you think there's something between the two teams or is it going to be really tight? I just The only thing that worries me is that City have got some big players that are just coming back from injury and that's that's the kind of thing, are they, are they totally there yet? Yeah. Silva, De Bruyne, are they totally match fit? And uh, I worry about left back, who's going to play there? Maybe Danilo is going to be the choice today, we'll see, we'll see. What do you reckon tonight then? I can't do predictions, already told me, <laughs> but I'm going to say 2-0 to City. I do, I do believe City will do them. I do believe they'll, they'll control, control them and I, I'll be happy at that. Brilliant. So you're feeling optimistic? Very, very much, yeah. He won't like it, but <laughs> he's always the same. But yeah, I feel good. I, I expect us to win tonight. I think um, I've, just, I've just had a, a, a certain radio station on where Liverpool fans think oh, the whole 11 of their team should be in a combined team. And I think that sums up Liverpool and uh, I have a feeling Everybody says Klopp's going to come here to win. I think he'd take a point. And I think because of that, we'll beat him and we'll win 2-1. Do you think there's a key City player in this match? Um, yeah, I think... I'm hoping that Aguero's back to full fitness. I think in this game and against Liverpool, he scored quite a lot of goals. And I think he could be the difference tonight. To be honest, I'm not 100% not sure what could happen. Um, I don't have a prediction, but on this day, January 3rd, 2012, we did beat Liverpool 3-0. So, it could give us yeah, could give us a bit of a boost there. The Omens are good. It should be good. I think, um, I don't know a prediction. If we, we could win, but we could, I think we could smash them if we could, if we try. If we try, we'll smash them, but... They'll, they'll kill us on that left and right side and it'll be worrying. I'm going for 4-2. It's about time we've done something. Tonight's the night. 4-2. Keep him quiet. we we'll go again next week. What there you it, go. What if it isn't 4-2? It'll be 4-2. 4-1 then. 4-1. We'll beat him. We'll beat him. Yeah, uh, everyone's writing us off. I'm confident. We're a great side. And I've seen Liverpool a few times on the telly and when you go at them, they don't look the greatest, so... Hey, bring it on. We're the champions, aren't we? But what if City don't win? We're still the champions, Ian. We love them. On to the next game. These are great times, aren't they? Great times. We've had the bad times, we're on the good times. And listen, a football sport takes the bad results with a good one. And me and you have been there a long time, so come on tonight, let's do this. Yeah, I'm optimistic. I've, I'm that optimistic that I put £10 on City at 2 0. So I think we will do it tonight. Um, and we are the bookies' favourites still. 
what which is good. Don't do it tonight. Well, we've done. We've we've caught more than that before, so I'm I'm sure that we will. I'm sure that we'll we'll do it. That they they will slip up at some stage. Excuse the pun, but they will slip up, which is good. Well, as you can imagine, for a big game like this, the press room is packed tonight. Let's get a few views from in here. The pressure now is on Liverpool. They can't afford to drop any points if they really uh, entertain any hopes of winning that title since 1990. It's been elusive for them for a very, very long time. And I think the, the fact that the, the fans are starting to believe is what is going to give the players more and more pressure. A uh, tough game, I think, for both teams. I think a lot of people in here are just waiting on the team news, really. I think that's going to be really telling. Uh, Pep retreated a little bit at Anfield, maybe showed Liverpool a little bit of respect. Will he do the same tonight? I'm not sure. He's, he said Man City maybe have to win the game. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I think a seven-point gap is easy doable for a team of uh, City's quality uh, between now and the end of the season. But it should be a, a brilliant game, can't wait. I wish you were playing, do I'm not sure I want to see that City front three. It's one of them. Let someone else play in these types of games. But yeah, of course, it's a, it's a huge game as a player. But uh, with City's front three, Aguero, obviously, I've come up against them uh, a few times. But uh, some top quality players. It'll be a tough night for defenders. How are you feeling for tonight's game, Michael? Well, I'm feeling nice and warm because I've just been fed with my, my curry kindly in the press room from, uh, from Manchester City. So that was good. No carbohydrates, though, because I'm on my diet. But yeah, it should be a great game. Obviously, we need Manchester City to win. Ten points, I think, could be too much. Hopefully, we'll see Kevin De Bruyne, whether he starts or whether he comes from the bench. It'll be interesting at full-back what, what Pep Guardiola does. Will it be Danilo on one side, Kyle Walker, will he play Zinchenko? There's always something special for Pep Guardiola that he produces in these type of games. So I'm looking to see what formation and how he, how he sets up against this good Liverpool side. who have been quite settled. So, yeah, it should vote for a, a great game. Vote for a City win. 2-1, I've said all day, I've done quite a lot of things today, 2-1 to Manchester City. And it's, it's very difficult, to, very difficult to know, I mean, two, two brilliant teams, I think t clearly the two best teams in the division. Um, I, I, still think, I still think City will win the league. I find tonight more difficult to call, so that lends me towards thinking a draw. <laughs> right, what are you thinking tonight then, Martin? Uh, what I think tonight, I'm about the only one in here who's got a sneaking feeling at Manchester City. I think Liverpool are the better team, probably, at the moment. But I think uh, the situation with Manchester City tonight, if they can't do it tonight, uh, then it's quite possibly almost over. I mean, even Pep Guardiola said that. Um, and I think that will make a difference. If you ask me who I think is the better team, at the, be at the moment I think the better team should be. But I think I think City tonight. I don't know. I, I could probably see, given now, probably being a draw. I never tend to think about these sort of things. Is there a key player? I think it's very key if they get the three back. I think Fernandino, De Bruyne, David Silva haven't played together in a league match, haven't started together all season, as I understand it. I think that's key if everyone's fit and everyone can play to their potential. And I think that's, I think that, that's a crucial thing for Manchester City. Uh, in terms of a key player, I think the key player, what's changed at Liverpool, obviously, is the defence. And is, is Van Dijk is, is, is a massive influence for them, massive influence. Probably the Football of the Year, probably the first defender to win Football of the Year for a good few years he's going to be. So he's very important for them. It's a neutral perspective, haven't you, really? Yeah, well, it's a great game I mean, between uh, two great teams. I don't think, uh, look at the stand there, you can all see that Man City needs a win today. It's, this gap of seven points, so they need to win. I, I think it will be a great, exciting game. Uh, as I said before, two great teams. As a person who loves playing great football, you must love watching both of these teams, do you? Yeah, I do. Different styles, but they're both, as I said, both uh, great teams. Uh, I know Pep and uh, I always enjoy to see his teams uh, playing football because he always wants to play attacking football and that's, that's great for everybody because we need, we need coaches like him, managers like him. I don't know, a bit nervous to be honest. I think um, obviously Liverpool are in great form. Um, and they've got the gap at the top of the table, so it's just not going to be an easy game. Um, 
my heart sort of says Hope City can pull it off, I think, for the league as well. Um, but my head's saying that it's going to be a tough game. I don't know. I think there's issues with City in the sense that, you know, Ferrandino's been out, De Bruyne's been out, coming back, and obviously the left back situation with Delft being suspended and, and Mendy being injured as well. So it's. I think Man City have more problems at the minute than Liverpool, so I think it's going to be a tough game. But, uh, you know, I feel this, this crop of players, obviously, last year showing 100 points in the Premier League, I think. If they're ever going to pull their performance off us tonight and, and hopefully they can get the win and, and, and close the gap down to four. Are you expecting goals? Are you expecting the keepers to be busy? Well, obviously two Brazilians, you know, they're both fighting for the Brazil number one jersey and, and both brilliant goalkeepers. Um, so it'll be interesting to see both them tonight and looking forward to watching the game, you know, from a goalkeeping point of view as well. But yeah, the game at Anfield obviously was a nil-nil. I think Marius had a great chance with the penalty to, to get to get all important three points, but didn't didn't come off and Hopefully we'll see goals tonight, more in the Man City end than the Liverpool end. And um, but no, I'm expecting a, expecting hopefully a great game. I'm very optimistic. We have to be. So, and it's very good that we've got a Mancunian referee, and and the referees have now seen over the last few games what sort of antics they get up to. So I'm hoping things will go our way. Is there somebody you know, when you look at this game now today? Is there a key player in your mind? What, for us? For, any, for either side, really. But more well, David Silva and De Bruyne, if he's playing, because uh, Sergio, well, you could say pretty much the whole team have got to play well. I, th- I think the big final of the season has been Laporte. I think it's uh, something else he is. But, uh, so defenders could be crucial, is what you say? Oh, yeah. I think, I think the whole team is going to be crucial tonight. But, um, yeah, we've got to defend well, control midfield and finish. Sounds simple. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> But it's lovely. I live in Bristol, and to to get away from the born again dippers down there, you walk walk into a pub, we we won, and you think, hey, what are they all about? And there they are with their mothballs. You can smell the mothballs coming out of their 1980s shirts. <laughs> When's the last time you went to Anfield? Oh, I don't think we've ever been. <laughs> Electric first half from, from both sides. I mean, City certainly both the luck with that uh, the hit the post from Mane. It was a millimetre penalty from being over the line, which shows you you talk about fine margins. Don't come any finer than that. But that said, City have stayed positive. They've been brave. Sergio Aguero's touch for his goal and the way that he hit it was akin to the goal against De Gea, you know, in the, in the derby. It was just too powerful. Allison couldn't deal with it. But there's a lot more to come from this game. Liverpool are clever. And yeah, there is that boy with Salah. You see that Laporte isn't really comfortable. You know, John Stones is way with pass in that Vincent Company has got a booking. So has Laporte as well. You know, but you're just hoping now that City can grow even more with confidence, can get that spark or that real swagger back and get a second goal because I'm, I'm being honest now, I don't think one goal is going to be enough for this game. I think that Liverpool are going to come back strong second half. They've got the quality, they've got the pace, but I still feel that City will have enough just to edge them out for this game.
to the end the blue boys. Turn, Turn the, the season end. round. Turn the season round. Come on, City. They couldn't live with us tonight. We were the top side. Easy. Never a chance. Never a chance. Get Come on, the boys. Come on. We're on him at last. Brilliant. We're on him. Fantastic. Who is your man of the match? Fantastic. Fernando Silva and Fernandinho can't split him. Fernandinho. 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 We won that tonight, it's back on, they're gonna ball it. They've got history of ball in it, and they're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it. Cheesy! 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 Man of the match? Just another one. I don't know, I can't actually answer that. Uh, I just slagged Sane off and anybody scored, so. <laughs> Brilliant, fantastic. Go on, City! City! Brilliant. Brilliant, Cheesy. I spoke to you after the Palace loss, and I said we didn't mind, because we know what we are and we're champions. And we've just showed it today. Absolutely unbelievable performance by every player pretty much. I'm just relieved more than anything. But I just think this is the point now where we kick on and take first place. Is there anybody you could single out? Fernandinho. He was everywhere. He was absolutely everywhere. Anytime you thought there was going to be a loose ball, he was in there to sweep it up. And that's what we've missed over the past couple of games. And I'm so glad to have him back. That's what cheesy. All the best. Come on, the Blues! It's at times like this when I really enjoy my job. All these City fans, happy City fans, on the way home after a 2 1 win. Personally, I thought Fernandinho was amazing. I know there are a lot of good performances out there. I'd give him 20 out of 10. Brilliant. Champions knock out the contenders. What a win. What two fabulous goals. You know what? There was 12 of them. Then referee couldn't see that push. Couldn't see half of that. Stevie Wonder was refereeing today. But God did it for us. City, Pep, you're the man. You're the man. Calm, collective. Champions, Man City, contenders, four points ahead. What's going to happen next? The wheels have come off your bus now. Come on, City. La la la. See you soon. Yes. Come on, Ian. Do you know what? The best thing about that game was the character that we showed, um, intensity levels. Every, every, every second ball, every third ball, every fourth ball, every fifth ball, we were there. We were there all game, on the touch. We did you know it! What? Sorry, mate! <laughs> told you we'd do it, Cheesy! Told you we'd do it! Seriously, and seriously, it, it's refreshing to see it, you know. You never want us to have to defend that resolute, but to see it, we don't get to see that that often anymore. That was old school City having to dig in and just try and, try and hold on to a, to, to a one goal lead. Um, and obviously, we're, we're a lot better than the rest of the sides in the league now. So, it, it, you know, it's sides that are in and around you that are going to force you at times in games of this magnitude to, to defend like that and to, to be that resolute. And it's refreshing to see that, although we don't get to show that side of our game that much, that when, when we need to dig in, uh, we've got it in our locker. And, you know, he, the way he rearranged the defensive line then at the end, um, at first I was thinking, could it, could it backfire? But obviously it was forced upon us with a few uh, a few knocks as it looked. Um, he's brought Nico on, he's brought Kyle on and they just showed everything up at the back. Um, Fernandinho for me, welcome back Ferna. Second game on the on the bounce now, outstanding. Bernardo Silva, man of the match, uh, just scraped it for me. Although John Stones was absolutely fantastic in that game. Um, and uh, just led it, you know, led it from the back. Vinny Company, absolute legend, um, born leader. Uh, fantastic to have him back playing on a regular basis, hopefully now. And uh, and yeah, just what a win, what a win in it, uh, what a win in over them. Um, you know, I said to you before the game that I thought we were going to win it, um, and I think that we, uh, I think we did ourselves proud out there. And although we probably could have won by more, um, and obviously had their goal gone in, it might have been a bit different. But I still think that the character we showed, the way that we attacked them, um, and had we been able to convert on the counter, um, you know, a bit more often. We could have we could have walked away with that game uh, three or three or four really yeah so fantastic night at the office mate and uh, let's move on now and go again. Well mate, fantastic game you know end to end stuff Liverpool at the top of their their the game as well you know we took the chances Leroy Sané was excellent Fernandinho was was, was breathtaking 
probably the best performance. Out of 10 from me. Oh, he was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. You know, Bernardo Silva again was superb. Everyone was questioning whether Kevin De Bruyne back into the side. Bernardo Silva took the mantle off of Kevin and was outstanding. All in all, though, last 10 minutes we showed our metal. We had to defend. Stokely rolled our luck, which we, you have to during the course of a season. Probably spent it all in one game. But when all said and done, we pegged Liverpool back. It's now title races properly on. Tottenham back into the race as well. There's 51 points to play for. There's a long way to go. But hopefully now, City have turned that corner, got rid of that, that bad little spell we've had, and going to get back and push the ball all the way. A win's a win. Not the best performance, but happy. Not the best performance. No, we played a lot better, but we got the win, so... Showed a lot of character in that game. Yeah, really we, we dug it. deep. We dug deep a lot and um, bring on the rest of the season. Very happy. They were the first team to beat us last year. We were the first team to beat them this year. First team to score two goals against them in the Premier League as well, I believe. But no, the, the atmosphere was fantastic. They played brilliantly. Bernardo was unbelievable. <laughs> Probably David Silva's worst game, I think, for City as well. He was anonymous. But no, the atmosphere was great. Thoroughly deserved the victory. And yeah, let's see what, uh, what it happens to them now. What, what does that leave City now? Where does that leave the title race? Oh, it's wide open. Like it, I think if it had been a draw, it would have still been open. If we'd have lost 10 points is a lot to build, but was it 18 games, 17 games left now or something? So yeah, long way to go. But yeah, we makes a second, four points. Make them a bit wary of slipping up now, doesn't it, in the future? So uh, yeah, really enjoy what atmosphere was fantastic. That was the main thing. And I thought I thought it deserved victory personally. So very enjoyable, sir. So what a great win for City. Uh, just a reminder that uh, if, if you're not familiar with the pattern of my vlogs, the Premier League vlogs, first of all, go on mancity.com. And then 48 hours later, sometimes slightly different, like this one or extended version, goes on my YouTube account. And for all cup ties, like Rotherham, like Burton Albion, like all the Champions League games, they're exclusive to my YouTube channel. So thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for subscribing. And thanks very much for contributing. And I'll see you again at Rotherham at the weekend. To be in with a chance of winning a £100 shopping voucher, visit liverpoolk9fertility.co.uk and send your details via the contact page.